Yes, I am fully aware that I have respirator marks on my nose. A respirator is this, what I wear when I'm dying. But I'm dying up. I'm watching Stacy of Stress Knits, who I really, really enjoy. And she's keeping me company while I dye up the first installation of the Harry Potter Yarn Club. I'm freaking excited. I talked a little bit about this on my podcast, but the charms that Chelsea from Sucre Sucre and I have designed are amazing. I'm really, really excited about these ones. The first charm and yarn that I chose for January's shipment should be shipped out on Friday. Um, I'm dyeing all of the yarn today and I've never, ever, ever dyed this much yarn at one time. So it's exciting. It will definitely be easier because it's all one colorway. Um, this is the biggest club I've ever done. And I'm so excited. This first colorway blows my mind. Um, I really, really, really love it. I am keeping a skein of all of these yarn club skeins for myself as well as a charm. And I'm so excited. I wish I could tell you guys exactly what this is, what my thoughts on it were, and the charm that goes with it. I wish I could share it so badly, but um, soon, soon I'll be able to share it with you guys. So I'm so excited. I just moved my studio around, which feels really, really nice. I felt like the way that it was set up, it wasn't really flowing, if you know what I mean. So right now I'm tying up all of the skeins. That's what's right here. I'm slowly getting them ready because while today I am dyeing up the Harry Potter Yarn Club, tomorrow I will be dyeing up all of the first installation of the local yarn clubs. Because we're finally going to be having some bags in the shop, I have cut all of the inside fabric Oops, and I just dropped one of the panels on the floor, so I'll just grab another one. So this is going to be the, the way that the main fabric looks. And then I have two different contrasting fabrics. And one of the inside fabrics will be either this or this. Um, it will be a surprise. And right now I am making the a homespun house charms that will hang from the bags. Um, this is the way that the zippers will look like. I make all of my zippers by hand. Um, it comes in just a roll and then I cut them and put them together. And I will be using the same color for the handle, so I still have to cut those. Hanging out on the sofa, knitting on Elodie's socks, which is a lot of fun. I finished the first one, which is extremely exciting because I finished it today and um, they fit perfect. I didn't even try them on. They just happened to fit perfectly. And I'm so happy about that. I am frantically knitting on these. Enjoy, enjoying it, of course. And trying to get down to the heel tonight, that would be really nice. It's only about 9.30, so I have a little bit more time to do that. And I'm enjoying some um, chocolate chip, white chocolate chip, uh, cookies they are oatmeal and I'm drinking some delicious coffee the fireplace is going strong and Danny of the little bobbins knits is keeping me company and she hasn't had a podcast for quite a long time so I'm so excited to see her face it feels wonderful finished Elodie's socks. So here is the first one. I know it's a little bit dark, so it makes it a little bit difficult to see, but I'll show these on the podcast because I'm podcasting again. And here's the second one. So here they are together. And she wears a size 29 uh, German. I have no idea what that is American, but they came out so beautifully. I'm really, really excited 
for her to wear these tomorrow for Kita. Um, and I think I'm going to cast another pair of socks on for her. Um, I think I'll do it the same exact way that I knit these. So I love them. They, they couldn't be more perfect. There are some funny things that I did while knitting these that I honestly don't know what I was thinking. Again, I'll talk about that in the podcast though. But they fit fine. She loves them. Um, I'm curious if she'll wear them now when she gets home from Kita. That's what Robert's doing right now. He's picking her up. And uh, I'm just kind of sitting here relaxing. I have a little bit of a bellyache. So he took Ruby with him while he went to go and get Elodie. Um, so I've just kind of been laying on the sofa, like I said, relaxing with my knitting and um, just taking it easy. I hope that my, my stomach feels better by the time that they get home. of yarn nor is it something that I even plan on doing in the future but I was having a conversation with somebody and I thought it was the perfect time to wind a skein of yarn hands-free so I wound up this skein of yarn that I dyed it is the ash colorway and I dyed it on um, the tweed DK base, which I haven't really dyed up a lot for the shop and I don't know why because it's really nice But this is the yarn that Robert chose that he wanted a hat out of so this is a hat that Robert wears all the time And he wants a hand knit version of that. So I'm going to um, Knit him that hat, but that's going to have to wait until tonight because um, Robert has friends coming over this evening to watch soccer and that's usually when I kind of cozy away in my office and spend time um, knitting so I just wanted thought that I would get that wound into a ball so it's completely ready for me to work on anyway now I am going to sew up these kits I have some dye pots in the background just cooling down they're still way too um, warm to rinse off I cannot show you all of those because Three of the pots are Harry Potter yarns. However, the other three are um, Rural Homestead. And this is just one layer of the color. You cannot see any of the other ones because they're all kind of hidden in there. And those will come with contrasting heels, cups, and toes. I'm eating a choco croissant, drinking some coffee. And I'm knitting on my tweed hat that I'm making for Robert. So this is the hat that I'm actually modeling it after. And just relaxing a little. I've been picking up a little bit of my family secret socks. And I think I'm about to the decreases on the hat. 